What's up guys, Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com today with an Atrix tutorial to show you guys how to theme the phone with gingerbread. Now this is meant to be put on top of the Adeo ROM by Design Gears. Check out my Adeo ROM tutorial video here and uh, you need to do that first as this relies on the Zipaline framework as well as a Deodex system and once you've done that you're ready for this now obviously stock out of the box everything is really moto blur like you've got the moto blur icons up top and um, you know the notification bar all that stuff is really moto blur now this is a small small theme this isn't really major or anything it's not going to change any settings menus or anything like that um, but it is going to allow you to get a nice gingerbread look and feel for the top uh, notification bar as well as when you pull down you'll get a different look to that as well and you'll get the gingerbread icons and the AT&T logo is going to turn white and it kind of looks cool I like it a lot better than uh, than this now what I've done is I've written a script to simplify this process there are some original instructions if you would like to follow those in the description below for the original XDA developers thread but um, I feel like I simplified the process and I wrote a script and it's something that uh, the original author said that he was going to do anyway, so maybe he'll just be able to use this one. If not, he can make his own and maybe it'll be better, but um, you really don't need anything much more than what I've written. Um, so the requirements, obviously, are that you are rooted. So see Atrix rooting here if you don't have root yet. And you have the Adeo ROM. See Adeo ROM there again. If you don't have either of those, root the phone, install the Adeo ROM, and now you're ready for this. Okay, so one thing that we need to talk about that's kind of a prereq is BusyBox. Now, my script's going to install BusyBox for you, but don't proceed until BusyBox is actually installed. Um, my script installs the BusyBox installer. Now, from there, you can open the BusyBox installer, say OK. It's going to look around on your phone and determine whether or not you have BusyBox. Now, this can take a second. So we'll allow ours to finish to show you what it's going to look like. If you don't have it, just say install BusyBox. Do 1.17.1. It's really stable and it works perfect. Now BusyBox allows us to run some copy commands that I've uh, put in the script. Okay, so BusyBox is installed. We found more than one copy. Great. We're ready to run the script. But first, let's make sure we have USB debugging enabled. So click Settings, Settings Option, Applications, Development. Make sure USB debugging is checked. Obviously, if you've done the prereqs, you already have the drivers on the computer, and you're well aware of that. So, um, once you've gotten the drivers, you've rooted the phone, and you've installed the Adeo ROM, let's go ahead and get involved. Download my package in the description below. I'm really getting low on battery. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and plug the phone in now. It really doesn't matter when you plug it in. I'm going to plug mine in now, as my battery is pretty low. Okay, download the package below. Obviously it's a RAR package, so use WinRAR or some type of package installer to extract all the files. So we're going to right click and we're going to extract those files here. And it's going to extract those. And boom, there they are. Okay, now obviously we have the ADB uh, executable as well as the DLLs for that, a batch script, some frameworks, some uh, services.jar files, and BusyBox from Steven Erickson. A uh, great developer. So. Be sure to consider taking a look at some of the stuff he has available on the market. That's Steven Erickson. He does a great job on everything. So take a look around, see what he has. Maybe he has something that you would like, and uh, consider buying it. It's a good way to donate to him. Anyways, um, like I said, obviously we have two framework res APKs. One is the original. It's labeled original. And one is services original. That's the original two files. If you ever want to revert this, it's as easy as renaming the current ones to res underscore GB for gingerbread and then rename the ones to original. Just drop the original off the end of them. And um, then you can use the same script and it'll just push the files repeatedly. This script looks for framework dash res dot APK and services.jar. As long as you've got those named correctly, you can always revert back to stock and it's not a big deal at all. Okay, so with that all being said, be sure that you are also aware of Fastboot and if something goes wrong here, you can always fix it. You're not going to risk much of a break. You can always boot in a fast load and restore the original framework and services.jar if you have to. But I've run this multiple times and I've had no problems. So if you have drivers, your laptop and phone are powered up and nothing's going to go down in the middle of this, you're going to be fine because nothing actually gets deleted. It just overwrites. And if it can't overwrite, it's not going to do anything. So And if it does, it works. So there's really no risk here in my opinion. Okay, so phone is plugged in. We've installed BusyBox. 
This script's going to check for that anyway, so we're going to double click on the script. And let me pull that into the frame and get my big head out of the frame. And I will see if I can zoom in on this just a tad. Okay, so there's the nice heading, mobiletechvideos.com, Atrix 4G Gingerbread Theme Installer. Obviously, I want to credit uh, the original author, and uh, I believe this DG had a little work on this as well. Both of those guys are in the description below, and uh, you can check them out. And, um, you know, they should have donate links next to their names. Um, so anyways, uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get involved. Uh, press the new key to continue. Now, when you press this key, it's going to check for BusyBox and attempt to install it. Uh, so now we need to press any key to continue. Give me one sec, I'm going to remove the super user permissions and forget them on my phone. So that way you'll know what this is going to look like. Okay, that's done. Um, so now we're going to press any key to continue. This is going to try to install BusyBox if needed. So if it's already on the phone, it's already on the phone. If it's not, let this install. So press any key to continue. And it's going to try to install it. Ours already says it exists. If it didn't exist, it will install it, and then you need to go to the phone like I showed you in the beginning and make sure that you've installed BusyBox before the next steps take place. So, um, anyways, in here it's just push the files to the SD card, and now it's mounting the file system. Be sure to allow on the first one, allow on the second one, and one more for th that's three. And now you may get a force close here. That's normal. Go ahead and say force close, and then the phone's going to reboot itself. All right, the phone goes down after the reboot command, and we're going to show you a speed up. Remember, this is going to take probably two to three minutes, and uh, it's going to kind of rebuild uh, the Davit cache and whatnot. So give it a little bit, and we're going to speed this up, and we'll catch up with you guys in just a second. Okay, now that probably felt like an eternity, and trust me, it always feels that way. Anytime you make a change like that, it always takes forever to rebuild, and you're going to be thinking that you just soft bricked, and you're going to be thinking you're going to have to get back in a fast load, but trust me, just wait it out, it's going to be okay. All right, now obvious changes, up top we've got the gingerbread themed icons for Wi-Fi, uh, battery, um, the network status and a lot of other things. So let's go ahead and unlock and we'll show you a little more. Now we're still building up here in the background but um, there's a closer look at that. You've got AT&T, you've got the nice Wi-Fi uh, logo, the H-Band logo, uh, the battery, lots of cool stuff. Uh, gives a real good gingerbread look and feel to the phone there. Um, I really like the AT&T with the white logo. Uh, if we pull down, we've got an entire themed uh, notification bar. Now, I think it would be really cool for the developer, maybe would add a pane glass look. I know that wouldn't be genuine gingerbread, but I've always liked the dark tinted glass. And this is, but anyway, needless to say, this is exciting. We're getting closer to more customized ROMs uh, that have built in theming and other things like that. So, just it's right around the corner, Atrix fans. Uh, we're almost there. So, if you wanted to revert this, um, you, it's really simple. Like I just said earlier, you would take a look at your files, and uh, basically all you would do is change the current framework dash res. Just add something to the end of it, as well as the services dot jar. So we added underscore gb for gingerbread, and then you just drop off the original for the other two files, just like that. So I renamed the original ones to the actual file names for Android. Boom, done. Run the script again. You can revert back to stock. It's very simple. So that is the theme installer for Gingerbread on Atrix 4G. And uh, I want to say thanks for watching. Uh, consider donating to us if this saved you time and or a headache. I'll see if I can find the donation links for everyone involved on this project. It's a really cool mod. And uh, it's really exciting to see how close we're getting to some custom changes and theming on the Atrix platform, and uh, I'm really excited about this. So, obviously, you'll know you'll notice in that one step that that I added a pause to uh, the script right after BusyBox because I realized that in this video I actually didn't 
give a pause in the script and it actually started trying to push the files to where if you guys that don't have BusyBox installed it would have tried to push those files and the copy command wouldn't have been found. So you'll notice that after the script installs BusyBox or at least tries to, your script will pause and ask for one key press to continue. That's normal. That's the only thing that's going to vary from your script versus mine is that one pause that I'm going to add in here in just a sec. And I'm about to package this up, upload it, and get this video on YouTube for you guys. So thanks for watching. I'm Josh with MobileTechVideos.com. Be sure to check us out. And uh, oh yeah, one more thing. And that one more thing is that we have the OtterBox Impact Series cases now for Atrix 4G. I have a couple of these right now. I think I have about five of them. And they're awesome quality Impact Series uh, OtterBox for Motorola Atrix 4G. They have awesome fitment, great look, nice black finish, rubberized case, very sturdy, very uh, easy to install and slip on and off. So if you have to do any battery pulls or anything like that, very simple. So it goes right onto the phone, real good protection. And obviously everyone's familiar with the OtterBox name. Good product. Snaps right back in place. Really good stuff. Great way to protect your phone. Great way to support us here at MobileTechVideos.com. Um, if you don't want one, no big deal. Just throwing it out there. Trying to expand the products page. So anyways, that's the OtterBox 4G case available in the description at the link below in the description at our website. And anyways, this was the Atrix 4G Gingerbread Theme Installer with Shameless Plug at the end of the video. I appreciate everyone involved. I think it was a, an awesome idea, and I can't wait for you guys to build more on it. And I hope my script helps automate things and that the original uh, thread poster uh, maybe finds it useful and is willing to put it at the beginning of the script. So, I mean, out of the thread. So, anyways, check us out, mobiletechvideos.com. Be sure to subscribe for constantly updated content for your Atrix. Check out the site. We'll be adding products for the Atrix at an affordable price for all of you guys. And uh, thanks for watching. And if you're ready to try the gingerbread theme mod, good luck.